Do, 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 band orc. Can you hear me? Like Clive Fandango. Yes. Right. Let me just. Well, the camera's working. It's just you're um, very blurry. Oh. Oh, there I am. Look at that. Look at this. Watch Whoa. this for a, a lovely introduction. Whoa. That's how we're going to begin it, like that, because we don't have a, a jingle. So you're going to write us a jingle. Is that your challenge for the next um, uh, the next show? Yes, indeed. Do, 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 band orc. That would do. That would be exactly what we need. Do, 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 Maybe do, do, that's exactly orc. what it's going to be. What, the entire show will be that kind of. <laughs> um, uh, uh, do, 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 band orc. So this episode, episode two, is about the monies. It's really just an introduction to the budget that we're going to have to sort out and kind of what we're doing. It's not going to delve into a lot of depth about the finances. It's really just a short show just explaining what we're doing in terms of uh, monies and that we've I've built a tracker which I'm going to show you let me see can I share that can you see it <laughs> yes Look I can hear that. it I might make it bigger just uh, rub it a bit so, so that's what I've that's what I've done I've decided to put in everything that we spend every penny that we spend we're going to try and document and show where it's all going to show that we're not being mm -hmm. wastrels and that we are trying to pay everyone as much as we possibly can um, complete transparency why don't you do it in euro? Because I don't know what these costs are in euro. Oh, there's only there's a, most, most 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 costs are going to be in euro. They are, aren't they? Oh gosh! So how, right? So how do we do this? That makes it nice and simple. <laughs> do I have not to... got like one of those math translators in well, Excel? What I could do is uh, so if we go here, one pound is 1.18 euro and and type in 2000 euro it's actually only 1700 pound yeah so i was just thinking it was 2000 so we're actually uh, in my mind i've lost um so this is how we're gonna have to do this i'm gonna have to put it over here so wait there 1.1 1 .1, let's make it 1.19 or maybe 1.2, just to be certain. You are right. A lot of our costs are going to be in euro, so it makes sense to do it in that. And I think 1.2 is a decent amount. You know, we, we there is there is an entire possibility that by the time we get to the end of this challenge and we actually do all the finances and calculate it up, that it might be have gone up to like 1.3 and we not noticed and we spend hundreds of pounds extra. So we just have mm. to we just have to take that risk. I think might as well be the other way around. So if the euro's worth uh, more. That's why I've gone up a little bit, hoping that... It's hard to know. And also, a lot of this, although we've got the budget coming from C-Punt, we... Um, I'm assuming they say C-Punt and not Capunt. Might quite start calling it Capunt. <laughs> Should we just call it Capunt? I like Capunt. Capunt. All yes. right, we're going to call it Capunt from now on. <laughs> P-Cunt. That's what I want to keep saying. I, I just saw someone, try, uh, someone um, uh, trying to say Tzatziki. Tzatziki. Uh, what was it? T, T Z A T Z I K I. Tzatziki. He's, yeah, but how they pronounced it. it they was always really say weird. Tzatziki. Tzatziki. Loads of people say Tzatziki. Yeah, but it was worse. Tzatziki. Tz <laughs> oh, yeah, I can't remember. <laughs> right, yeah. So this is going to be basically what we're going to use for our budget an online spreadsheet. It seems like the easiest way of doing it. And just every bit of cost that comes in, we're going to put down here. There is a bunch of stuff that we're going to have to pay for. We know that. And we only have seventeen hundred pounds. I have to just bear that in mind that it's two thousand euro, and that I live in a country where the pound is weak. And then there's probably going to be stuff that you're going to purchase that's going to be in Swedish crown that we're going to have to come up with a like a translation yeah. for and a nominal amount. Um, so the whole thing is logistically is actually quite difficult. Do you agree? Yes. Yes, it is quite. It, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wish everyone just had the same currency, oh, like man. a world currency, and everyone was happy living together. I mean, we don't have to worry about committing musicians because if the show doesn't go ahead, no one gets paid. I get that, but yeah. um, but there's still going to be expenses that we pay out, and we also have to work out if we pay for our flights, accommodation, we do all these things, and then the show doesn't go ahead because we can't sell enough tickets. Have we lost all that money? There's nothing that budget from Capunt. I'm assuming only comes when we do the show. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. But that means there's a risk to us to outlay. Or like what if we're, yeah. I, if one of us is ill, I think I'm right in saying if one of us is ill, the show goes on. 
Yeah, we're still going to do Indeed, it. Indeed, it does, yeah. yes. So because we're in two different countries, the chances of us both being ill at the same time seem slim. So the show mm. is very likely to go ahead. There's no reason. Yeah. We go, we're getting there 24 hours before the show at least anyway. So there's no reason for us not to not to attend. The show will go ahead in terms of physically getting people there. What we've got to consider is how we um how we sort out getting enough tickets to be able to make it worthwhile for people. Mm. Um, and a, and whatever budget you know, if we've got two thousand, we we have to assume that three quarters of that is going to go on transport and accommodation. I think we're only going to be left with an, a nominal amount of about twenty euro to guarantee in terms of like expenses initially before we even start looking at ticket sales. And we have to consider how do, yeah. how do we do that? That's going to be that's going to be a conversation down the road that we're going to have to have when it comes to looking at musicians' fees and when we speak to um. Kunsten Bond, I think it is, and find out exactly what what is a fair rate and how we can make it work. But that um, is, Sean, yeah. how's your challenge going? Can we get, in the next 48 hours, 10 people to buy tickets to a show that they know nothing about that is completely blank, just with the promise that it will be good? And I guess they're going to have this info. That's can't be done. It. How much would you bet? I'm going to bet you £10 that okay. it can't be done. £10. Ten pound. Um, okay. Uh, I am aware of at least three tickets that have been sold. I've seen. You're people, aware of three tickets. I'm okay. aware of three tickets because people on social media have mentioned it. Um, okay. But I don't know how many other tickets have been sold or whether any more have. To be honest, I'm not really. I put an email out on social media saying, "Please, can people buy tickets now to so I can win this challenge." I'm not really going to be spending much of my effort begging and pleading for people to buy 10 tickets in advance because my time and effort really needs to be on organising all of this. So I've done that. Yeah, I just think um, you've sold three tickets. That's quite a lot. Well, I mean, what is that? In- I mean, it's, we're not, we've not done anything yet. They don't know what they're actually paying for. So if we can sell something Point, that doesn't exist, 0.42%. I'm sure we can sell a lot of tickets. Let's see extrapolating that out because we have if i get this up there it is that's the countdown to bandock (laughs) right we got 89 Mm. let's say 89 days so if in 24 hours we've sold three tickets and we've got another 89 days we will have sold 267 tickets if we continue at that rate okay that seems weirdly not terrible i think i've done something wrong somewhere can you tell me what the swedish crown to euro is do you want me to look it up or uh, it's eleven thirty, I think. Eleven pound, eleven crown thirty to one euro. Let's make it eleven. Let's make it ten. It's better for it to be slightly over than under. So yeah, add any bits in there, and then just put E for Eric, and whether it's in and out. So if someone goes, "Hey, Eric, I want to give you five hundred Swedish crown because you're a dude, and I want it to work," then you could do that. If they go, "I'm going to yes. steal five hundred crown from you." There we go. So our our total in and out are going to be in euro. Our grand total is going to be in euro, um, and all of our expenses are going to be in our own currencies. That's it. Does that sound all right to you? Yeah. That's kind good. of a start and where we're at. And I guess we just have to figure out how we're going to turn this mess into something that that is not going to make a loss and that is going to pay musicians a fair rate. Right. Cool. Okay. Well, we'll leave it there. Um, yeah. Good luck. Godspeed, Eric. With what? Huh? With just, what? Well, with just this challenge, just in general. Oh, the challenge. Yeah. Sorry, I forgot. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll speak to you soon. Yes. Bye. <laughs>